hello 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 welcome back to another video okay it's your girl renee and y'all i'm back with a video about my beauty supply store a lot of people have actually asked saying i should make a video on this how i do this and things like that because i'm young and i'm doing it and you could do it too um but that opening clip you just saw or i don't know if i'm gonna insert it after this i'm actually might insert it after this intro but <laughs> anyways this is my beauty supply store, Royal Creations Hair. Let me go ahead and pan the video real quick. Okay, so yes, this is my store, Royal Creations Hair Beauty Supply Plus Salon. And today, the day that I'm posting this, we are hitting 100 days in business. Today that I'm filming is number 99, but tomorrow is 100 days in business as a storefront. And I am so thankful, so excited to have reached this goal. Like, yes, it's small, but as a small business owner, this is huge to reach 100 days in business. And we have been doing well. We've been doing well. Um, not a day has gone by that somebody didn't walk through our doors, you know, so since day one. So I'm just extremely thankful. So basically, I decided to open a beauty supply store and salon. I was online based for nine years before opening this, almost nine. It'll be nine years in business this coming up November. So um, over eight years, though, I was in business before I decided to open a storefront just online selling bundles, wigs and lashes. And here we are today. Um, so right now I'm currently sitting in the salon waiting area as I'm filming this video. If y'all are interested in this hair, this is actually kinky straight hair and with some leave out. And y'all, y'all can't tell me this is not my hair. Like y'all see how natural this look? It's not stiff. It's flowy. Like I love it because I don't have to straighten my leave out every day because as my leave out sweat out, you know, it just blend more more with the bundles. So yeah, I have kinky straight wigs and bundles. So you can definitely check out my website, www.royalcreationshair.com. Um, link will be down below. And also follow me on my Instagram at Royal Creations Hair um, to keep up with our updated things. Eventually, we'll add products to the site. But right now, it's just hair, lashes, um, and things like that on the site. But eventually, I will add more products. Um, so how did I do it? What do you need to do to get started? I, I don't even know how to start this video. Um, basically I got my LLC last year, almost two years ago now. I had this business online as a sole prop, but I ended up getting an LLC about two years ago. Um, started building my business credit. So that way when I was applying for different things, it was a little bit easier to get loans or lines of credit, um, credit cards and things like that. Um, and if you guys want a video on how to build business credit, I'll go ahead and do a video on that as well. I'm still kind of learning myself, but I think I kind of got the hang of it. Um, something else um that's important when starting your business picking out a business name and getting that llc that's number one finding ways of revenue i mean not revenue, i'm sorry things to get started so also um you have to have vendors so i work with about four different vendors maybe five five different vendors yeah for all of my products that i have in the store um if you guys want me to do a vendor list video maybe i'll do that i don't know we'll see let me know though if you want and i'll give out my vendors and let you guys know what's some good places to start some of these companies you have to have llcs or a business ein number some of them you could just shop on there but you just have to shop in wholesale some of these companies you have to get approved to shop with them before you can even see prices or anything like that some companies allow you to buy one or two things at a time some you have to buy 6 12 24 things at a time so it just kind of just depends some of these companies have no minimum but they'll just charge you shipping fees some of these companies you have to have a minimum in order to even place an order with them um so there's so many different avenues you can go so that's a whole another video in itself it's kind of just an overview of what it looks like opening my store so i have two employees i still work a nine to five job so i do have two employees that work my front counter as well as um, running stock and things like that and i have three hairstylists 
having hairstylists in your salon. If you're gonna have a beauty supply, depending on where you at, it's it was it, I wanted to kind of have a salon one because I wanted this one stop shop, um, and then two, basically they help pay your rent for your building because you have to pay for your building, right? So you can choose however you want to charge them. If you want them basically to pay your whole rent, if you want them to pay your rent plus bills, if you only want them to pay a portion of your rent. I'm not gonna get into detail too much on how I decided mine and what exactly I'm charging them. However, I just kind of went over those different options and fee structures in my head in order to pay for this building. Um, so like I said, I'm not gonna give too much detail on that because that's personal private information. Um, but yeah, if you want a way to help out with some bills, there you go. I also have special vendors in my store that kind of help with bills as well. Um, so with the special vendors, you can either choose to charge them um, a percentage or you can charge them a flat rate monthly fee or you can do both. I chose to charge them a flat monthly fee of $125. Every month, they get 100% of their sales minus sales tax. Um, because as a business, they're using my property, so I have to pay sales taxes on their things. So I got to pay the government. <laughs> Ain't no way around that. But yes, so that's how we do that. Um what else what else so it's hard it's hard i mean keep it real it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard not necessarily getting the sales and the traffic flows hard yes that can be challenging sometimes as well but having employees and stylists is hard so many different personalities and i'm still learning how to be the best boss manager store owner that i can possibly be i am trying and i've had some breakdown moments it's been crazy um also something that's been crazy my store less than 100 days in the world is trying to come for us and take stuff from us but we didn't let that get us down if you drift what i'm saying um so yeah we still rocking and surviving and thriving got some security you know going on so yeah <laughs> but anyways um it's hard though running a business um especially running a we're still working a full-time job it's very difficult i wish i could be here more and i can't wait to the day that i feel comfortable enough to be like peace out nine to five hello 24 7 because running a business is 24 7 is really crazy um but i'm so happy and i'm so proud of myself honestly of getting 100 days in i'm so so proud um but yeah so i I think every topic of this can lead into more top like full on things. So these small topics I'm doing, so like business credits, a whole nother video, uh, vendors, a whole nother video, how to secure your vendors. Um, yeah, it's a lot, how to hire people. That's a whole other thing. How to get your licenses because to have a salon, to have a business, you have to have a business license, right? In your city, but then also to have a salon, you have to have a separate license for that. So, Y'all, it was process after process to get this store open, and I accomplished it. And I'm only 27, okay? I opened my store at 26, um, a weekend right before my birthday. So I wanted to kind of open it on my grand on my birthday, but my birthday was in the middle of the week, so it didn't really work out that way. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm only 27, and I'm doing it, and so can you. So if you're trying to be a boss, let me know. Um. And I can help y'all out. So definitely leave comments down below of what you want to see more in depth when it comes to my beauty supply store. As far as, like I said, building credit, getting vendors, um, hiring people, LLC documents, um, whatever. Oh, I know if somebody was trying to come in the door. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody coming. But because I'm still open for another 15 more minutes. But I'm trying to get this little downtime right now. So I wanted to film a video for y'all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for rocking with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on my personal Instagram and Twitter at RenaeCV13. My business page at Royal Creations Hair. And go to my website. Get some bundles. Get some wigs. Some lashes. These are the drama queen lashes that I have on. So yeah. All right, y'all. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Happy 100 days.